Um, first of all, uh, I'm cool. <laughs> Everything's cool. No one's, no one's, I got dust in my eye. I just got some dust in my right eye. How funny would that be though? No, seriously, if I walked around like that outside, I think that would put people a little on edge. Hello and welcome to The Graduate Report. My name's Danny and I'm not freaking out. No, I'm not. This is me actually being normal, quite normal. I'm like totally not freaking out, man. The end is near, my friends. Uh, yeah, the whole mask thing. That would be terrible. The thing, I was reading all of the comments yesterday and it seems like all large gatherings of people are kind of coming to an end. I totally understand why they're doing it because like in any large group of people, there's definitely like gonna be like one or two of those people that are probably carrying Le virus, and that's probably gonna do a lot to infect a lot of other people, especially in Coachella. Those people don't wash their hands. Like, I've seen them come out of the porta potty. No wash of the hands. Okay, let's talk about the situation here on the ground. This is gold, apparently. How much toilet paper do you need, and why are you buying it in more than that amounts? How much do you need? Well, let's see here. We've got, um, we'll do this, we'll do this. One arm length, nine squares. So one little arm length is nine squares or about how much my girlfriend uses. This is, this is the pre-wipe wipe for her. This is like before I start wiping, this is how much I need. Well, let's call it 10. Let me back up here. Hey guys, 10, 20, oh shit, 21, uh, 31, 41, 51, 60, oh shit, 61. 71, 81, 91, 101. Did I lose count? No, we're at 101. There's 110, 120, 130, 140, one, oh shit, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 190. This is how much toilet paper my wife uses to actually wipe her body. When she comes out of the shower, she likes to dry herself with toilet paper. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, oh! 175-ish. And then you get to this part of the toilet paper roll and you're just like, oh shit, oh shit, this is not enough. This is not enough. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this. Oh Jesus, maybe if I mutch it up into a ball, maybe if I mutch it into a ball. And then you, and then you take the roll and you fold that in half like this and then you start going, I'll just, I'll just make that into a little bit of a spoon, I'll just, curve that around into a spoon and just kind of shoopa shoopa shoopa. So what we have here is 175 squares of toilet paper. <laughs> uh, I'm a baller youngin. Uh, look at me flossing youngin. Uh. Oh dude, I should totally just go outside like draped in this stuff. Just be like, what up bitches? So how much toilet paper does a single person really need? Two squares, fold it in half. That's one wipe, is one wipe. You just wipe, throw it away. Depending on the first wipe, maybe you go three squares. I mean, sometimes I've done the first wipe with two squares and then I've been like, you know what? Something went wrong. There was a malfunction of some sort. A lot more spray, a lot more spatter than it originally anticipated. We're gonna have to go three squares. But three squares, it's pretty thick. Not a whole lot's gonna get through three squares. So, at most, you're gonna need two for the first one, two for the second one, two for the third one, so that's three wipes. I have a rule that I'm pretty pretty steadfast on to stop itchy ass syndrome, <clears throat> and that's on the fourth wipe, if there's still poo poo on the paper, you gotta take a shower. And that, that makes it awkward when you're at like someone else's house and you wipe four times and they're still pulling the paper and, you and then you're taking a shower in their bathroom and they're like, hey, we just met, what are you doing here? And you're like, and you're like yeah, yeah, I'll be right there, I just gotta wash my ass in your shower, person I've just met. So what do we learn? Two, four, six, six squares. So we got 170 squares per roll. 170 squares per roll. We divide that by the two, four, six, sixes. Divide that by six. Each roll is worth about 28 shits. Shit being a regular shit. You know, I'm not talking about the, uh, I'm lactose intolerant and I had a lot of ice cream, so I'm gonna need a little more paper than usual. <laughs> and let's say you take a normal shit, what, once a day? Twice a day? What are we talking about here? Three times a day? 
What are you eating? Let's say you take a shit uh, twice a day. Let's say you take one in the morning and one in the evening. I don't really take that many shits, but um, <laughs> my girlfriend. Did you better not tell them. She shits like once every four days. I don't know how she does. What am I saying? She shits rainbows and 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 unicorns, and they dance off and leave golden eggs for me on, on the on the floor. Women don't shit. Haven't you heard? Right. So twenty eight point three shits per roll. So one roll should last you about a month. So I'll run out of toilet paper mid-July, just on the current supply that I have. Hence, no panic buying for me. And then you've got the people walking out of stores with like pallets of toilet paper. What are you gonna do with all that toilet paper? Are you stuffing mattresses? What are you doing with it? Oh God, oh God, it's all mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub it on my body. I'm gonna take off my clothes, rub it all over my body. Possibly need all that toilet paper for. You think in the next four months, there's not gonna be any more toilet, they're not gonna resupply the toilet paper? Of course they'll resupply the toilet paper. And even if they don't resupply the toilet paper, you don't got, you don't got towels? Go to Bed Bath & Beyond, buy yourself a towel. So I did a tiny bit of research on the internet and I've come to understand that panic buying has less to do with actual need and more to do with what makes you feel better. Everything's gonna be fine. I bought 17,000 rolls of toilet paper, don't worry. <laughs> We're all gonna die. But we're really not. The thing that does kind of bug me, like a lot of schools are shutting down and a lot of like, everyone's like, oh, fuck, it's gonna take another year to graduate now or something. Like, oh God, that, that sucks. Uh, but I can totally understand why they're doing it because, you know, the Princess Cruise Line was like number 10 on like the most infected countries. And you don't want to be like UCLA, number nine on the most infected countries. You know, or, or whatever school you have. They don't want to be in the headline being like, this college kept the classes open and now everyone's sick. Because it's not even about whether they die, it's about, you know, them just being sick. Because if you look at the numbers coming out of China, people are surviving. It's an interesting turn. Final summation. Panic is the real virus here. And it's not spread through people coughing in your meat hole. It's spread through the electronic devices that bind us all together. I, for one, am not panicking at all. I've got all the toilet paper I need. One roll could last me a month. And I have, like, half a roll left. So, I'm good. I will be hiding it from my wife, though. We're gonna have to start cutting up the couch. And taking out the inner parts of the cushions. Actually, we're gonna like that plan A. We're gonna save the toilet paper rolls. I love you, my little lemon drops, and congratulations to me! Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five shows. I'm gonna take the weekend off. I'm gonna come back Monday with something fantastic for you, all right? I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Monday when we continue. <laughs> Party